For accounting, the invoice module is an important factor when evaluating an accounting package. So let's look at some of the key features that PCMRP's invoice module provides. With PCMRP, you can create multiple invoices per sales order. PCMRP's invoice module interfaces with both UPS and FedEx. PCMRP's invoice module can store and process credit cards. PCMRP's invoice module can work with alternate currencies. PCMRP's invoice module can work with PCMRP's accounting module and with the QuickBooks accounting module. You can easily create custom forms, invoices, and reports, shipping labels, etc. with PCMRP's report writer. PCMRP's invoice module also interfaces with PCMRP's optional serial lot number module, the audit trail module, and the inspecting module. Enough talk, let's get started. To create an invoice, I will select Modules, Invoices, and New. Normally I'd select On Account, meaning they'll pay me in 30 days, but because I want to show off the credit card features, I'll select Cash and Carry. I'll select Stores as the area that it's going to be relieved from the items when we're, that we're invoicing. I'll answer Yes to scroll the sales orders. I'll select my sales order and press the OK button. Now that I have my invoice number, I'll press the OK button. Notice that all the information is automatically filled in from the sales order. By clicking on the display currency, I can see my unit sales prices in yen, as well as in, if I click back to the base, in dollars. If I'm not shipping the whole order, I can change the quantities. Notice at this point I can select different credit card numbers and, if necessary, even add a new credit card. Clicking on the Billing and Shipping tab will allow me to accept or change the Billing and Shipping address. I can click on the Delivery tab and put in tracking numbers. If I were to edit the invoice later and click on the Tracking button, PCMRP will display where the package is and who signed it. I can click on the Account Info tab and see the sales tax code, the salesman, his commission, unit cost, and the accounts to be debited and credited. If the accounts are left blank, PCMRP will debit and credit the default AR and income accounts. Pressing the OK button will increase the quantity shipped and put a capital Y in the complete field of the sales order if the sales order line item has been invoiced in full. This will also decrease the quantity on demand and quantity on hand in the inventory module. Since I've activated the optional serial lot number module and I've marked the wheel assemblies as serializable, I'll answer yes. I would like to select the serial numbers that I'm invoicing. I will select serial numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and press OK. I can now invoice the next line item or automatically invoice the remaining line items or click on Finish. I will select Finish. Since I have auto accounting on, PCMRP displays, displays the accounting transaction data entry screen. Since this is a cash and carry sale, PCMRP will debit checking for the amount of the sale and cost of goods sold for the cost of the parts being invoiced. Pressing the credit tab shows PCMRP will credit business income for the amount of the sale and inventory for the cost of the parts being invoiced. There are a few more debts and credits in, regarding freight labor, and labor costs which happens to be included in the bomb. Clicking on the Process Credit Card button processes the credit card. Processing the credit card normally takes about four seconds or less. The Comments tab will display the credit card matches and or any mismatches if the credit card did not go through. Pressing the OK button allows PCMRP to enter the debits and credits and post the payments for this invoice. I can now select Display, Print, or email this invoice as a PDF file. I'll select Display My Invoice. I will select my custom invoice with logo form and press the OK button. Notice that my serial lot number numbers are displayed in the, on the invoice for easy traceability. Once I've printed out my invoice, I will click on the X box to continue. Next, PCMRP offers to print a shipper. I will select Display and press the OK button. Here we can see the quantity ordered, 
the previous quantity shipped and the back order quantity and the ship quantity. I will click on the X box at the top of my screen to continue. I'll click on no, I do not want to enter another invoice. Here's another neat feature. I'll edit an invoice by selecting modules, invoice, edit, and select my invoice and press the OK button. If I edit the invoice quantity and press the OK button, PCMRP offers to automatically adjust the quantity shipped in the sales order module, the on-hand and on-demand quantities in the inventory module. Since I really did not want to edit this, uh, the quantity on this sales order, I'm going to back off here and cancel the edit. If I want to display an invoice report of all the invoices created in the last couple days, I would select Modules, Invoices, and Reports. I would select all records entered in a date range. Let's see. 05, uh, 01, 2012. And let's leave the ending date at today's date. I'll select Open and Closed Invoices, sort by invoice number, select Display, and click on the OK key. If I go to the end of the report, I can see my total billings for the time period. If I were to run a sales order report for the same time period, I'd get my total bookings for that same time period as well. Well, I hope I've shown you how PCMRP can help you manage your company.